having a food truck is there's always something going on and just work, work, work. Okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, when did Mama Jeans open? We opened the very end of 2018. Um, November 2018, I think, was. I guess it's been five full years. What? Like 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah. Here wow. we are. And we are working on getting this old restaurant <laughs> up to par to be a restaurant again. <laughs> it's, um, we got to do a lot of work. Uh, 
uh, one special yadam that Madison makes, and it is, it's a special yadam, it's chicken liver pate. Um, but it sells surprisingly well, too, because people realize it is a nice delicacy. <laughs> We have a food truck in Roanoke, Virginia serving chicken liver pate. You know, just being able to make that. And so my husband really loves to, he's just a chef, he loves to put out good food. Um, yeah. My husband Madison, he's our chef and pit master. Hello. Madison Ruckle. <laughs> when it was time to press go on that project and we were like this isn't worth it anymore to us for what you know the project on the outside had become so expensive and the inside wasn't gonna pay the bills <laughs> and we weren't excited about it anymore so we decided to quit but sometimes in life you just have to know when to quit a project um, when it doesn't excite you or serve your overall purposes anymore and we had always kept our eye on this property because it's a restaurant that has a parking lot and you know it's just sitting and right in that time period that we decided to quit that project at the same time we noticed this one was back on the market serendipitously so we we worked put those on the market got under contract with the, these folks very very nice ladies selling the properties I mean she married one of the ladies brought me a Christmas card yesterday. It was the sweetest thing. So Jimmy V's has a large parking lot. It has the bones of a restaurant. It needs some love and we're here to try to do it. <laughs> we're still, you know, we have press go on the project, but we're in the midst of planning it out. Um, and Jimmy, like I used to walk in through these doors as a kid <laughs> and I remember coming here to eat good pizza. So it's one of those landmarks, beloved landmarks in the valley here for those that have grown up, you know, first dates. <laughs> and my uncle used to work here and he's the main, uh, the man planning out, helping us plan out the project right now. Um, his name's Bill Hart, he's with Pittman Construction. So we're trying to use local businesses to help us with do to improve um well definitely we need to grow our team which is why we've gotten into this big project um and hopefully it's not too big of a project you know we are mom and pop for, and it's hard to juggle it all so as we grow our team which is you know then we can take on more and service our customers and bring on those convenience factors um i don't know if we're ever going to get away from the barbecue line but having a greater, a bigger team will definitely service it. As, you know, we're going as fast as we can right now, but hopefully it'll go a little bit faster in the future. Um, but we're putting out a lot of food out of this this kitchen, so hopefully <laughs> to have that building will help us even more, and we'll be able to offer drinks and alcohol and you know overall good times and music and have, be a really good spot for the community to come together, just like any restaurant should be. Or any kitchen or kitchen table. So that's what we want to be. What are your plans for the Jeans future? What are our plans? 
<laughs> we just want to be a restaurant and just keep serving people and keep feeding the town and providing a spot for people to eat. That's our plans and feed our family <laughs> provide a roof over our heads. <laughs> you know, all the things that we all work for in life. Just stability and enjoying our lives. Thank you.